Hey guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at every Spidey and his amazing friends 4 plus minifigure that comes out in March of 2024. Lego sent me all three sets early to review, so I'm grateful for that, and it gives us the opportunity to make a video like this. So we're going to rank them from the worst all the way up to the best, and let's get into it right now. Well, somebody always has to come in last place, and Green Goblin is coming in for this video. The reason being is we've gotten this figure in many sets over the years, so there's nothing new here, and if you have any Spidey sets, you probably already have this, so when we're ranking them, he's got to come at the bottom because he doesn't bring anything new to the table. All right, coming in second to last, we've got Gwen in her gold suit. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a good figure. I'm just not a big fan of this style of hood. We'll see another style of hood in this video in just a moment. And overall, I just, I don't know, this figure just doesn't really do much for me. The legs are cool, the torso and head print are great, but I don't know. Somebody's got to be toward the bottom, so here she is. Now, slightly better is the version of Gwen that has her web wing arms, which looks good, and she has the old style of hood that I like better. The torso and legs and head are exactly the same. We just get the, you know, unique arms on this one as well as the different hood, which I do like a little bit more, so it's going to rank slightly higher. All right, Miles is up next. This is a really great figure with the black legs. Finally, they gave the Spidey Miles black legs, and I really like all of the gold, you know, detailing on the eyes and the torso. I think this figure looks really, really great, and I like this one a lot. It's actually probably my favorite four-plus Miles we've gotten ever, so something to be said for that. All right, up next, we've got Spidey, and I'll put Tracy with him since they always, you know, arrive together in the sets. Now, that being said, this Spidey is very cool with the gold detailing that the previous two heroes had. It's just, I don't know, I just don't like it quite as much as the others, so it is really cool. Of course, Tracy is a nice little addition there, and this head is going to work great for an Andrew Garfield Spider-Man custom, so stay tuned for that. All right, in third place, we have Electro. Now, we've wanted a Lego Marvel Electro for a long, long time, and we finally got it, but it is the female version of Electro from the Spidey and His Amazing Friends TV show, which is a bit of a letdown because, you know, we all want the classic comic book Electro, but I think that this can be modded to get us what we need, so stay tuned for that. I'll have a video coming out shortly on how to do that. But yeah, it is cool to get Electro finally, and I definitely like this one. At number two, we've got Arnim Zola. This is a very weird figure, but the reason I like it so much is because of the promise that it offers for the future. If you look, the way that the headpiece is made is very, very unique with a stud on top, and basically it just sits on top of a minifigure torso. So because this piece now exists, I really think that they could do a better Zola based off of the comics in the future. Also, as an honorable mention, we do get this little Zola drone with a gun and the wheels and stuff. And while I don't know if this actually counts as a minifigure per se, I do want to give it a shout out here and include it in the list for today. And finally, we've got Iron Man. Now, this figure is really awesome. It is probably the most cartoony, full-sized Iron Man Lego has ever given us to date. But when we lift the helmet up, you can see he's got a really neat head underneath. And it's basically the only Iron Man, other than the Mighty Micros version I can think of, that didn't use the Robert Downey Jr. style head. So while the head is kind of weird underneath, it is nice to get something really new with leg and toe printing and hip printing. And overall, it's very cool. Also, John Stamos voices this version of Iron Man, so that's pretty awesome as well. So let's go ahead and round out this list and call it a day. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Let me know which figures from this wave are your favorite and if you plan on picking up any of the sets. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next video.